Hi students, in this video we are going to see about finding roots of a quadratic equation, computations of binomial coefficients and plotting of Pascal triangles in model 2. Uh, model two. Uh, these are the example programs of coming under the topics of loops. Let us see one by one. First program is developing a comp uh, roots, uh, computing the roots of a a quadratic equation by accepting the coefficients. The first task is to include the header files. Uh, what are the header files required means stdio.h, stdlib.h and math.h. So these three header files are included. And the next one is boy, coming to void main. So void main here, uh, what are the inputs we are, requ are required means three inputs that means a, b, c coefficient and what are the outputs root 1, root 2 outputs are required. So the required input variables and output variables are declared and then next task is to get the inputs first the uh, first value is uh, value of coefficient is stored in the variable a that is you scanned using the scanner statement after that if a is equal to 0 we can't approach the we can't compute the coefficient so in that way how we can lock means if a is equal to 0 valid input is or invalid input so we can't uh, give this a 0 as a input to the program so in, in that way we can exit from the program or else we can continue scanning the next x variables so in the next variable second variable is b and third variable is c like that three inputs are scanned and got then we need to find the disk value so how we can find the disk value means b b, b, b squared minus 4 ac is the value of d disk how this is written in c language means b star c b star b minus 4 star a star c so this is the equation for finding the disk so that has been done then we need to find next task is to compare the values of disk if disk is equal to 0 the roots are equal so there are three cases if disk is 0 and disk is less than 0 and disk is greater than 0 so first case is disk is double equal to 0 if double equal to 0 means the roots are equal so in that way when uh, both re roots are 1 so root 1 is same root 2 is same so how we can assign means root 1 equal to root 2 equal to minus b divided by 2 star a so that is called as uh, that is the case of with disk value equal to 0 then if this or else if disk is greater than 0 that in that case the roots are real and districts so how we have to separate we have to calculate the root 1 and root 2 in a separate way how we can calculate means minus b uh, there are some uh, possibility minus b plus or minus square root so for the first one we need to apply plus and for the second root we need to apply minus in that way we can find out root 1 and root 2 that is printed then if not if not that means disk is less than or equal to 0 means the roots are imaginary so on that condition we need to find the real value and imaginary part how we can find the real value means so there is a one parameter called a real parameter minus b 2 star divided by 2a and imaginary parameter is there we need to apply fabric fabric fabrication functions of disk value so in that way we can find out so coming to the output or what is the, there are some outputs are there so first i am giving the value of coefficient a equal to 0 so in that condition what it will show means we already have the test conditions that if a equal to 0 invalid input try again or else for the coming to the second output we are giving real values 1 minus 4 and plus 4 are the three real values so for that the root equal to root 1 and root 2 is equal to 2 because it comes under the category of disk equal to 0 likewise you will get the outputs then next program is computations of binomial coefficients what is meant by binomial, binomial coefficient table means uh, binomial, binomial coefficient table is formed for calculating the multiple values that can be generated between n and k so we have one uh, uh, range then uh, n and k so in that it will calculate the binomial values uh, from the range from n to k so say for example input value equal to 5 means so this is the right side you can see the binomial table so starting from 0 1 1 1 1 2 1 1 2 like that it will show one binomial coefficient table that is purely related to your mathematical table so how we can what are the approaches the here we are using in this program means first we are giving the input variable to the val, val val variable and it will the loop will start from 0 to value 
okay so first point is we are giving the inputs to the value and second point is we are giving the we are starting the loop from zero to value uh, then the third one is uh, apply the formula given that means finding the binomial formula that is uh, below is the formula for finding the binomial table so we are applying the formula for between n and k not k should not be zero so in that way we are applying the formula of finding the binomial uh, coefficients what is the formula means b of m comma x equal to b of m comma x minus 1 star m minus x plus 1 divided by x this is the mathematical formula purely this this formula is going to apply in our program coming to the program so first task is to find the uh, inclusion of header file and uh, we are uh, creating one function for finding the binomial table in that we are applying the for, for mathematical equation so we are uh, that uh, for function is should return the integer value so when you see the function definition into bin table into value for int i equal to 0 is less than or equal to value i plus plus and we are getting we are printing the value of i now for that I am giving two spaces for displaying its uh, output because one output should be differentiated by another output by giving two spaces, two extra spaces. In that way it is applied into num equal to 1 and into, again we are starting the one more for loop into j equal to 0, j is less than or equal to i, i j plus plus then if i is not equal to 0 and j is not equal to 0 if both are not equal to 0 only we can calculate the we can apply the binomial function so what we'll do now we are finding the number num value num equal to num star i minus j plus 1 divided by j printf in that way this binomial table is applied uh, this function is directly called in the main function int main we are giving the value value equal to 5 in this case then binomial table of value is applied so it will go and do the definition of this binomial function it will be executed and it will be it will return one integer so what it will do means it will give the value as so it will give the value as one binomial function uh, by uh, this one uh, what is that binomial value right so hope I understood these concepts. I will catch you in the next video about next topic. Thank you.